Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Winter has certainly taken its grip on northwestern Vermont. This has given me some time and opportunity to work on the DIY insulated battery box. Let's go ahead, take a closer look. All right, back in the shed now, and the battery box is right behind me. Uh, this has taken quite a long time to complete because I had to wait for some really cold weather to happen. Uh, temperatures got down to negative 15 degrees. Now, when the temperatures got that low, I had to go ahead and add more insulation because the box uh, bottomed out about 27 degrees. For the most part, it was staying around between 40 and 50 degrees, depending on the weather. So in the last week, I've gone ahead and add more insulation, both inside the box and in the doors. It seems to be making quite a difference. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the inside of the box, some of the changes I've made. And for some of you guys, it'll be the first time. I've shown this box a little bit off and on as I'm putting together things in the shed. But before we do that, hey, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell. It really helps out the channel. Also want to hear from you guys if you have any comments or questions about what I'm doing here, especially with the box. I'm also looking for positive suggestions how to make things better. Now the box is roughly at 50 degrees. I just took off the door. And you can see I have lots of insulation. So I essentially built the box out of three quarter inch plywood and supported it by two by twos down here. And then I went ahead and insulated the box with two inch foam board all on the outside. Then I'm using quarter inch plywood, like a Luan, just to protect that foam board. And then on the inside, I'm using one inch foam board everywhere. And then between the uh, three quarter inch plywood and the one inch foam board, I've spray foamed in an inch and a half of insulation. Um, everything's sealed and uh, I've got gaskets on the inside. And then the door, I added more insulation on the outside just to help seal it a little bit better. Eating the box with this uh, seed mat right here, Got the idea from uh, KVUSMC as well as David Paws. They're both doing this on their battery boxes. Uh, KVUSMC, Kenny, he did his uh, video. It was probably four or five years old when I first saw this. And I thought it was a really good idea. And I recently saw uh, Paws. He did it on his uh, channel. I think he has a buddy from Vermont who uh, insulated a battery box. And my design is kind of loosely based on his, except I add more insulation on the inside. And uh, my box is just built a little bit different. So this box is going to hold my BYD batteries. I've stripped those down, taken off the heat seats, shed about 40 pounds of weight on each battery. So each battery is going to weigh about 120 pounds. And I'll bring those over tomorrow with a buddy's help. Now the seed mat has a temperature uh, gauge right here. I keep that in the middle shelf. I'm also using this really cool Thermal Pro sensor. This links up via Wi-Fi to my smartphone. I'm able to monitor the box from uh, pretty much anywhere. Taking a closer look at the Therm Pro, it also comes with an app and it provides up to seven days of free monitoring. Here are my last seven days since we had the cold snap and I added additional insulation. You can see where the box bottomed out at 27 degrees before I added additional insulation to the doors as well as 62 degrees where it topped out when we had a nice warm day where it was about 37 degrees outside. This break indicates where I unplugged the Therm Pro to work on the box. And lastly, this dip indicates where the box was about 50 degrees when the ambient temperature outside was around 15. Again, adding more insulation has helped keep the box at a consistent temperature. Here's the back of the box. It's built the exact same way as the front. Here's the seed mat with the controls. You can see it's down to 45 degrees now because I've obviously opened it up and the shed's pretty cold. This door also comes off and I have a well insulated hole that I put through. All my battery cables, balance cables are gonna come through here. I've built the box on four solid coasters. These things collectively, I think they can handle well over a thousand pounds. Just wanna mention that if I've reached the limit of insulation, at this point, I'm probably gonna add a second heat source, perhaps another seedling mat, and I'll turn that on if it gets really, really cold. If the box goes under 40 degrees, um, 
I'll add a second one. So I have one on order and I'm gonna keep that on standby. If I need it, I'll use it. If not, um, I'll use it for other purposes. So that's my box. Pretty pleased with it. Again, let me know what you think. As I said before, we're bringing the batteries over tomorrow with a friend's help. He's gonna help me haul them from the basement to here. Then I'll work on the rest of the DC system. All right guys, so that's a very brief overview of the DIY insulated battery box. I'm looking forward to bringing my BYD batteries out here in a day or so and getting things hooked up, doing the rest of the DC system and getting this project done. All right, so thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and definitely come on back for more DIY off-grid projects. Thanks for watching.